All right, that brings us to the feature event of the day. This is the listed Farnley Stakes over the 1,400 metre journey, $80,000. Pretty good lineup too, Marty. We've got two replays to have a look at. We're going to go and have a look at the last up win of Delta G. This was massive, three deep throughout, and she just drove to the line and defeated Lyca Vane in very impressive style. New Yorker at the head of the remainder. Lyca Vane hits the lead as they go to the 300, though, from Grey Monarch. Brown pulls the whip. Lyca Vane in front. Delta G keeps coming. It's Delta G quickly hauling in Lyca Vane, 100 from home. Delta G gets a neck in front of Lyca Vane. Foxy boy, inarticulate Grey Monarch, but Delta G too strong, did all the work. Sat well, that was a super performance from Delta G. Anyone who uh, watches them in the paddock who didn't back at about five dollars, they should just automatically give themselves a one month suspension because she bounced into the yard. And there are a few horses in that race, like Geyser Peak, um, Foxy Boy, uh, the uh, Jinx King, that are in this race. But uh, you just looked at them and said they can't beat her. No, all of a sudden she's out three deep without cover where they don't win from at Belmont Park, and she just put them away in the style of a mare going places. And she's got to be awfully hard to beat here. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more, Marty. But uh, it is not a bad little race. And we're going to have a look at the last start effort of Gondorf. This was first up in the Goodwood Sprint behind Idyllic Prince. He was settled off the speed. He comes with a fast finishing burst. Also keep your eye on Foxy Boy in second place. Spitfire race. Glory Hunter and Vines. Makes his move with Idyllic Prince. He heads Vane Raider. Idyllic Prince shoots away by two to Vane Raider. Spitfire race down the outside. Starting his run is Gondorf. Idyllic Prince is the leader. A hundred from home. Two on Gondorf. Vane Raider then Foxy Boy. But Idyllic Prince ridden for dear life by Brown. And he's going to create a bit well, of... As anticipated, Gondorf was always going to be flashing home like he did. I reckon he just probably uh, ran out of condition 50 metres from home. Mm. Wonderful return to the racetrack. Uh, just beating him home, in fact, was Foxy Boy, who finishes uh, a little stronger than him towards the inside. Now, there's your form line. Delta G uh, was able to brain Foxy Boy. He had every conceivable. She was three wide. He was tracking up and uh, didn't get within Kui. I know there's a weight turnaround, but for me... Uh, Delta G beats Foxy Boy, and Foxy Boy should beat Gondorf because he meets him two kilos better for beating him home in the Goodwood. Yeah, he doesn't have a great record at the distance, Foxy Boy. 13 starts, uh, only four minor placings. Interested to get your thoughts. Delta G from Barrier 1. She's a nice, big, strong mare. Must be a little concerned. A little concerned, but Fish Whiting is the sort of rider that he'll be cool and calm. Speed map's not great. I think Roman Time and also Spitfire Race will attend to the speed. Super scenic. Um maybe get, getting up into the breeze and at some stage it's just going to be a case of whether Jason Whitey can get her into the moving line and if he can then they'll be flat out beating her. Uh, some of these other runners, Glory Hunter looks to be in a fair amount of trouble but it now, no, now note now trained by Justine Erklands. Yep. Uh, Roman time resuming since his third in the York Stakes. That was behind Super Scenic. Lisa Biver marked her right. I think Barrier 9 makes it difficult and she really only has an option to go forward. I, look, Gondorf has been well documented. They want to take him up to Calgary for the Cup again. Um, you would think uh, that this wouldn't be his race. Super Scenic's one that could be in this uh, event for a long time. Vizard was better in the Goodwood. He actually gets a draw. He's been out in seven and eight, and Paul Harvey uh, goes back aboard. Mm. He could be one who improves here today. Right. I'd imagine Spitfire Race, they'd have him ready for the Hannons, oh. this one to top him off. Uh, Foxy Boys, you mentioned the doubt about him is his distance record, 13 goes, yet the win. Guys of Peak, I'm tipping a big improved performance from Guys of Peak. Well, he does fly second up, three starts, uh, two wins and one minor placing, good record at the distance. Um, so he Drops was beaten, four and a half kilos, Matty. Was beaten a long way, Matty, seven and a quarter lengths. Uh, I reckon he could have finished a lot closer. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I reckon he could have finished a lot closer. All right. Uh, reflective star, now... Fair dinkum. I don't know what happened last start, and I'm talking through my kick because we had a, a trifecta quartet set up that day, but he was atrocious. What happened there? No, no. Any excuses? They must have been a messenger go out, Marty, that you and I played the trifectas and quartets because... Um, well, we got the tri, but the quartet was ghastly. Oh, you left me out of that one. That's right. Yeah. That was a little sneaky late. So we come to the uh, selections here in the Farnley Stakes, and it's been a good race over the years, Matt. Uh, Idyllic Prince, of course, last year, and Classy Nugget the year before it. Yeah, Mansion House, Attractions, Hartley's Dream, uh, Constantinople, Irish Pride, Master Park, Corporate Bruce defeated Norsley in 2001. Mm. 
Fly my kite and tool time. So it's been a pretty good race and it's no exception again on Saturday. We're going seven Delta G. Needs that little bit of luck in the run, but hopefully she can make her own. Jason Whiting, I think he's rolling great. Um, three Gondorf, just class. And he'll poke his head up close to home. Eight Foxy Boy, just because of the weights. And nine guys a peak. Pretty uh, keen on Delta G, by the I think they, I think she can win. Um, big, it's a big scalp. That wasn't corporate Bruce. I know there was a, a, a massive weight difference, but uh, he got the great horse Northerly, who uh, rightfully has been nominated for Hall of Fame. So. Yeah, terrific. He's uh, the fighting tiger, as we all know, so uh, best of luck there. Uh, that brings us to the final event of the day, Marty, a race number eight, the Hong Kong Racing tomorrow, www.ozbet.com.au handicap. So over the 1,200-metre journey, we're going to have a look at the first up performance of Classic Retreat. This was back on the 25th of August, over the 1,000 metres. It was out on a limb throughout, battled on extremely well, finishing third behind Sun Silk. Grand Platz hung badly. It's Grand Platz from MTV, Sun Silk and Classic Retreat in the middle. Over on the inside, highest honour. They're on one side of the track to the other. Sun Silk and Grand Platz, highest honour. Classic Retreat keeps coming. Grand Platz, Sun Silk and Classic Retreat. They hit the line. Bobber, give it to Sun Silk. Well, that was a terrific effort. Uh, in a very strong, low-rated race, if I'm making any sense, uh, from Belmont Generally Park not, at the no. midweeks. Do you know what I'm saying? It was only oh, a low-rated race, but it was a strong addition of one. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm sure Sun Silken and Grand Platts are going to go on and win plenty of races. Yeah. And I'm sure Highest Honour, had he not drawn the river, and they've rightfully scratched him Taken from this, yeah. is going to win some races. Mm. So uh, I think it was only a 60-rated band, wasn't it? Something Good like bunch that. of horses. Good bunch of horses. And that run from Classic Retreat followed a super trial at Lark Hill behind Army Miss. Miss. Yeah. Uh, behind them were um, two last start winners in Sierra. And, Sky Magic. And Sky Magic and also From. From, yeah. So I think it was a pretty strong trial. Yeah. Look, it can lead all box seat. A lot, of, a lot of these horses have drawn very awkwardly. Harvey will ride this Johnny Bow train mare perfectly, either leads, box seats, and I think uh, she will take all of the beating here. All right. Well, there appears to be plenty of dangers to Classic Retreat, Marty. I'll just name a few and get your, your thoughts. Um, um, a horse like Tottenham Hots, he was a red-hot favourite mm. first up. And he was beaten well and truly behind Excella. What are we doing there? A lot of people are jumping off Tottenham Hots in, in droves. I'm not so ready to get into the uh, lifeboat just yet. Mm. I, I thought the run was full of merit. He was out there three wide punching, um, went up to knock them over. Maybe first up, he just wasn't quite fit enough to be able to do that and still win. Yeah. Um, Excella was able to... Um, how to get them late. Uh, the second horse has since won, hasn't Com it? Seed. Com Seed. Yeah. And Steve's pick was a pretty good run in that race too. I'm not totally dropping off him. I know he's in a bit of a form slump from his previous form rating. But look, Tottenham Hots, my opinion with this bloke is that he's best up near the speed or leading. And from barrier 11, that's the option for Jared Noski. Spear forward, either sit outside the leader or lead, be aggressive and just see what the big bloke can do. What is the speed in the race? Speed in the race isn't great. I think Dante's Diamond is committed to come across from out there in 15. I think suspect at the distance when leading, so they'd want to get to the front and hand up. Um, and the other one there is Classic Retreat kicking up from uh, the inside, inside barrier, yeah. barrier two. Yeah. You know, Harvey might sum it up early like he does. He's such a, a good instinctive rider yeah. where he might just say, no, I'm going to lead. Mm. And uh, I've got no problem with that. That's why I think Classic Retreat's really got a good chance of winning this race. The five honour of Denmark was a good winner last start, but drawn the can't drawn win. The, can't win. No. What what can any other dangers? Yeah, you, you've missed one down here. You missed it at the trials, so I think you kept it for yourself, Matty. Sixteen flying warrior. What sort of a trial was this behind Rio Sand? Uh, young rider Renee Forrest. It is. It just hums first up. Yeah. Look at its record: four mm. starts, two wins, two seconds. Uh, gets the right run in behind them. That trial indicates to me it's ready to go. And I think Flying Warrior is the deserved danger to uh, number 14. Three insurgency, massive yeah, the other day. very good. First up for Gary Delane, had to uh, contend with a wide draw, got back and then run home in a good race. Specchio won that race. He's mm. since come out and won again. So I think insurgency has to go in. We've spoken about Tottenham Hots. We've spoken about Steve's pick. One more for the novelties, number six, Zeta Mac. By oh, gee, it circumnavigated the globe last start. Did he have a good look around Belmont Park? 
Before that, we f threw it out in, the, in a quaddy. Yeah. Not a quaddy, a quartet. Yeah. Ran fourth. Ran fourth. Gets back to barrier one. It'll have the cheap seat run and can uh, run, run into the quartets. 14, best of the day. Best of the day. Best of the day. They beat 16, 3, 13, 12 and 6. I've even tipped with the quartet. This could be a race. We could get a bit of value then, Marty, because I think it's, a lot of people may look at this race and just go, holy hell, because there's yeah. a big field. Yep. There's a lot it's of different form lines. not an easy speed to do. No, you managed to do it. Yep. And um, classic retreat, the best of the day. Best of the day Going each, up to the each last. way. Yeah. Right, be, it's got to be $5 somewhere around there, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it has to yeah. be around the $5 mark. Yeah. Race 8, number 14, classic retreat. To end the day on a winning note for uh, Marty Young at Belmont Park on Saturday. Marty, a place where uh, you go all the time is the bookies and the totes uh, because you like backing winners. So what about for our punters out there, the bet suggestions? Yeah, bet suggestion. Well, we had best beware last week, Marty, which let us down. So we're... Um... You know what we did? We were down in Denmark, in fact, on Saturday and big Mark Nelson and myself, we had a trifecta, three horses. Street value, Bazaka, best beware. Unbelievable. Street value wins. Bazaka second. Best beware, the two to one favourite. Doesn't aim up. And then the, the other the other trifecta in uh, race seven or six, Power Princess. We threw it out here, Power Princess. Unbelievable. I can't believe it's paid forty three dollars. Forty three dollars, yeah. Amazing. We basically threw it out on the show. Well, right. Mate, it. Bet I'm suggestion. Yeah, maybe. I'm just sticking with the five each way. Um I, I can't get Is in that? five dollars each way. I'm sticking with that formula. Race four, number two, Great Wall of China. I can't get involved early with Nadeem's Ruler and Hawkeye because I know they'll burn me. So I'm race four and number two, Great Wall of China, Marty. Oh, Mikey McGivern over there has dropped off. Yeah. Our one fan in the studio is having 60 seconds nap. What um, about you? I'm in say? the last, mate. Five each way, classic retreat. Johnny yeah. Bow, wonderful trainer. Paul Harvey, he's a gun. But well drawn. Mm. I think at around $5. We can't miss race eight. Number 14, classic retreat. Well, you've got a bit of confidence about the meeting Saturday, Marty. Well, the four races that I've done, I'm very happy with, yeah. Mm. Uh, and you've seen have drawn the rough end of the pineapple. You've got those sort of, you know, races. Nothing sort of races. Yeah, you know? nothing races. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy just to be, okay. you know, dumb it down a bit. But right. no, it'd be good to have you back at the races Saturday. Footy finals this weekend, they start, Marty. Mm. Finals. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a Dockers and Hawthorne here at Subi, isn't it? That's correct. That is correct. And, um, and, of course, it's Campbell to Cup. Uh, we, we found in, in Articulate as a special in the Coolgardie Cup. Yeah, 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 you're all over that. Uh, and that even uh, uh, kicks up, franks the form for Delta G, of course, it come out of that race. Mm. Campbell to Cup's not a bad race for Hannon's Handicap Runners over the years. Good race, some nice horses. In it. Major Kenny, he's just flying at the moment. There's Absolutely. a couple from here that have gone yeah, uh, Af down there. Afghani, I think. Ken Bond? Ken Bond. Uh, Black George didn't have much luck last night. No, it's wide so. all the way. A pretty good race, but I'll wait for your, your mail, Marty, because it's very rarely wrong for Kalgoorlie. Yeah, we haven't done it quite yet, but we'll, uh, we'll work on it. It'll be mm. in the so on the side on Sunday morning. Best of luck. That's it for the box seat. We'll be back uh, next week. We'll see you out at Belmont Park on Saturday.